We back, y'all. Let's talk about your third round pick, Connor McGovern, interior offensive lineman from Penn State. Now, at some point, I'm going to make a video about how these draft picks affect our depth chart. I'll get into that once we get all of our draft picks, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about Connor McGovern right now. He has some position flex. He can play guard and center, but like I said, we'll touch on that. But he's going to be right guard right now on this first play. And like I said, we're just going to run it or whatever. But on this first play, he's going to pick up this nice little little uh, gap exchange right here. But some by Connors kind of like to finish, man. We're gonna see Chase. Uh, we're gonna see him hit and hit and B gap pretty hard. We're gonna see him crash down and B gap, and your man's right here going over the top. But Connor was able to see it, like he actually got eyes on 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 his guy on his on his tackle right here. He's gonna go over the top, and Connor's gonna go immediately to Chase to uh, Chase Winovich, and you know he's, he's he's gonna finish his block. Connor McGovern is good for finishing a damn block, man. Let's just run this. I don't even want to edit this for real, for real. Let's just run this and see what happens here. Um, he's gonna turn this guy. <laughs> he's gonna do it. Uh, let's get into this though, cause I uh, I have been watching film on Connor McGovern. He's gonna take a little bit of coaching, uh, just a little bit of coaching. But what I do like about him is that even if somebody gets inside, that doesn't mean he's defeated. You know, some of these offensive linemen, if they get beat to the inside, they're automatically done. I think uh, think Connor got a little got a little anger in the trunk there that if somebody does get inside of him, he can just maneuver a little bit. He can just work his hand under. It's a technique that you know uh, that we teach offensive linemen all the time. I didn't have very long arms, so I use this all the time. When somebody gets gets hands inside of me, I just kind of hand fight a little bit so there's a little bit of elbow bend and just slip one hand under, right? And you can't really see it, but I'm positive this is what's happening right now. Connor McGovern is slipping his right hand under this defensive tackle right now. How do, how do I know? Because of the result. You see Connor... <laughs> <laughs> you see him doing it so look what happens with a lot of these um short armed um offensive linemen they end up being in interior guys because you know defensive ends are pretty long but you can defeat long arms with hand placement OK, so, yes, Connor, Connor may have given up a bit. And it's going to be weird talking about two Connors or whatever. Uh, you, you, Connor gives up about a step because dude did come off the ball and and um, get inside of him. But this shows a little bit of savvy right here. And um, shouts out to Penn State's coaching staff actually uh, actually teaching this. Just that hand under that hand fighting motion right there, just getting under that shoulder pad. Um, it actually helped in. um and getting this guy smooth all the way about the paint. Uh, good play there from Connor McGovern. What happens here? Um, Connor's not going to be the prettiest on second level. Let's just get ready for that. Um, he's he 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 doesn't have the best movement in the world. So, you know he 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 gets wonky when he when he's on the uh the linebacker level. But that could be like an angle thing. So that's something that can be taught. So uh, don't panic there. But. I think Connor Williams has immaculate feet to, to to be saying that that he was an he was an inside guy, uh, you know, and that's why I think Connor Williams would be moved to te uh, to tackle Connor McGovern. However, I think he has like pretty regular guard looking feet. You know what I mean? Let's get back into it. He's still our right guard right here, and boy, do I like him in pass pass blocking pa these pass scenarios, whatever these these pass sets or whatever. You know, as far as his movement goes, he ain't got the best traveling ability in the world, but you don't really need to because you're only dealing with zeros, ones, twos, threes, right? Connor McGovern, if he gets his hands on you and he sets, good luck to you. That's what he does here. We're going to see him shoot, and once again, his hands aren't in the best place, but he's going to continue to work those hands, right? They end up kind of outside in the shoulders, but if you can get them inside on the top part of that shoulder pad right there, as long as they're inside and on the top part, you're good to go. Um, you can just get to that point, and, and you see him dropping his hips right there, dropping his butt, pretty good knee bend. Dude wasn't going nowhere, man. Dude was done. Dude, dude, dude was dead as fried chicken as soon as Conor McGovern dropped his knees. Or bent his knees, rather. Same here. Same play here. 
Conor McGovern, da da da, boom, 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 fop. We see you not moving. What we've seen from Conor McGovern is that um, he'll go up against uh, like a like a bigger defensive tackle. We'll see him. Uh, we'll see him doing that, and he handled those guys really well because if it's power versus power, I feel good about Conor Conor McGovern in in that exchange. Like he's a big, physical, nasty dude. But if he has to go against one of these quicker guys, one of these quicker three techs, then that's when he'll have to incorporate his hand fighting techniques. He'll have to incorporate some of that, uh, you know, some of that thing that he does. But I, I will say, if he gets his hands on a on a on a smaller guy, then he'll suplex you just like uh, <laughs> just like he did, buddy, a little bit earlier. Let's see what happens here. It's just once again, man, Conor, Conor McGovern getting on the second level, getting kind of wonky there. His angle is that that's only that's the only problem right here. His angle. And to be fair, if we're running the ball, let's see, we're down, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're running the ball this way, like we know the running back is so look at this. If the running back is coming this way and everybody is is uh zone blocking this way then Conor McGovern can just take this angle because what's going to happen is the linebacker is going to follow the running back you know what I mean and Devin Bush will actually run into Conor McGovern uh it's just that Conor got into a little if you don't shut your ass up ain't nobody say hey Google get your ass out of here um (laughs) my bad y'all Conor um what was I saying? Yeah, if if Connor can can uh, can fix his second level blocking by just taking better angles, then that's okay. That's not very hard to do. Um, let's see what happens here. Connor McGovern is our right guard. Once again, the same kind of deal, right? Connor McGovern is going to have these big super fights with these lengthy guys because he's not he's not a super long arm guy, but that's why he's at guard. So yes, Connor's going to have these fight these fights with these lengthy guys, but Connor knows how to deal with them. Connor just knows how to just continue to fight with his hands. We see Connor actually start to get uh, start to get some control, um, you know, control of that wrist just to start to uh, get that left hand in the in the top of the shoulder pad and start to control that bicep bicep elbow wrist area it's not going to be perfect with his hands but as long as he can sit down Conor McGovern is going to be good right there he's going to be pretty good right there what else we got we got a play right here wait a minute I missed him Conor's the right guard let's see same stuff (laughs) same stuff and look he wants to finish Conor McGovern wants to finish don't get it twisted (laughs) if you're not on the ground he's mad Boy, oh boy, oh boy! I like him though. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Uh, not a huge fan. I'm I'm a huge fan of like Cody Ford. I'm a huge fan of him. But I'm a fan of Conor McGovern. Like um, I like them. I like him, and he's been a, a pretty consistent player over the last uh, over the last couple of years or whatnot. Um, you know, he he was a he was a center a couple years ago uh, in his 2017 film. I'm going to show you an example of that. But if you look at what uh, Connor McGovern does, just in contrast to Connor Williams, you know, we had the whole problem with Connor Williams. We felt like he was too small and that he would get overpowered or whatnot. You're not going to overpower Connor McGovern. You might get a step on him. You might get one step on him, but you know, it's, it's big time competition. You're probably going to get a step on somebody, but once he plant his foot, good luck to you. Good luck to you. Uh, once again, just another set of him getting under somebody, man. Pass protection, I have no problem. Um, I have no no uh no problems with Conor McGovern and and, and pass pro because, like I said, man, if if you if you're a small guy, he'll get hands on you, uh, and 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 he'll just deal with. You. If you're a big powerful guy, he'll pay he'll he'll play big powerful guy wrestling game with you. Uh, I have no problem with that. It's just in a run game. Um, in the run game, if he's in a situation against uh, like somebody that's really powerful and they get hands inside on him, that could be that could be something that he has to you know he has to work on and deal with. But like I said, we still uh, we still get to implement NFL coaching. We still get to put him in strength and conditioning programs. Plus, um, he'll be at left guard, so Tyron Smith and Travis Frederick will be there to help him. So uh, I feel good. Look at how, look at this dude just stopped. Look at how this guy just ran into Conor McGovern. He just stopped. <laughs> That's fantastic. And he finished him. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. And Connor recovered. Wait a minute. Dude just stopped. And then Connor just, and he going to finish. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a fan.
And I was looking at the Washington film, right? And more so of the same thing. But this is from 2017. I wanted to uh, show this just to uh, make a point that uh, Conor McGovern has played center in his career at some point. He's flexible in that way. So uh, if anything happens to Travis, then Conor can fit right in that spot. But we'll talk about that um, later on once we get all the uh, picks intact. But it's another example of him dealing with uh, with uh, length. I think he, you know, for, for like, I think he's been a short arm offensive lineman his whole life. You know what I'm saying? And him being able to deal with length, I just think he just learned how to do it. But just look at how this how this guy comes off the ball right here, right? He's just gonna come off the ball. He's just gonna long arm long arm Connor, and Connor got got to deal with that, right? But Connor's gonna keep hand fighting. Check out how how he hand fights and he just works his hands to the inside. Keep those hands active, man. We always talk about that. So your hands may start off in a start off in a place where you don't want them to be, but they're gonna absolutely, you know, if you just keep fighting, they're gonna get to where you want them to. And if your hands are inside, or you know, kind of gets his hands inside of you and he drops his butt like so, you know, we know what happens at that point, man. We know you're done. <laughs> We know that's it. I wanted to show one more thing from this Washington film, then um, I'm going to get the hell up out of here and go to sleep and get ready for day three of the draft. I still got plenty of energy, man. Um, so let's talk about him getting getting the second level once again, right? This is what I meant by it, it kind of gets a little wonky for me, right? So, yes, he can get to the second level. He can make it there. Um but I kind of want to see him continue to move his feet. It's just that, man, that maybe uh, maybe gets off balance. Maybe he's concerned about the angle that he's taking. And, you know, he really doesn't hit these linebackers square. Now, is this something that could be coached up? Sure, this is something that could be coached up as well. I, yeah, I, I, I 100% think that this is something that could be fixed. I think if he just takes the angle and just play with confidence, then he can knock these these linebackers out just as much as he do these interior guys, these uh these these down guys. So, um, is this going to be a problem moving forward? No, nah, this probably be something that'll get fixed by uh fixed by uh by training camp, I believe. It's just, it just, it's, it's, it's all in the angle, man. It's all in the angle, and it, and it just takes a real technician to, to, to teach him and just to give that perspective on it. So, um, but as far as a pass blocker, take a look at him right here. We got a blitzing linebacker, Connor McGovern's at center. Blitzing linebacker's gonna hit him. Connor ain't going nowhere. But hey, man, that's Connor McGovern, man. I'm not gonna hold you too, too long. He's our third round pick, and I feel pretty good about him. Um, like I said, is he gonna come in day one and start? You know, I. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. But I don't think he has to. Um, will he be starting by next year? Absolutely. And that shows where the uh, where the Cowboys are uh, with their draft evaluations because next year is going to be a year to where you may not pay Leo Collins, you may not pay Tyrone Crawford or Malik Collins, but you got you a damn good three tech and a guard. Um, you know that'll probably be starting for you next year um, and giving you some valuable minutes this year. So we'll see what happens. Hey man, y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski man. Follow me on Twitter, like this video so it helps out with the algorithm. I need to be at the top of that thing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I drop random ass videos in the middle of the week just like this. Draft season is over, but if you're a Cowboy fan, please stay tuned because now it's Cowboy season. I'm going to really be getting into the Cowboy film too. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski man. I'm gone. Peace.